Technology has been transforming every aspect of society, and that includes revolutionary new capabilities for police departments. From tattoo recognition technology to the growing use of drones, these high-tech innovations are highlighted in the June edition of Wired magazine. Here to tell us about it is their editor-in-chief, Nicholas Thompson. Nick, good morning. Good morning. So let's start with the technology a lot of people are becoming more familiar with. That's body cameras. Yeah. How good is that technology now, and where do you see the future with that heading? Well, the technology is good, and it has been good at possibly reducing violent interactions between police and innocent people. What's very interesting and what will come next is facial recognition software embedded in body cameras. So computers are getting much better at identifying faces, mm -hmm. and you can imagine police being able to just put it on, scan the streets, and say, oh, that's a suspect. Right. That's somebody I need to go talk to right now. They, they're also now, I mean, there are systems now to store all the images from that are being collected on body cams. Is that right? Right. So we're much better not only at collecting lots of images, but also analyzing them all. So you can imagine a sort of a mesh network of all the images taken by all the policemen mm -hmm. looking at them and looking for patterns and looking for people. And it's not just faces, right? Well, it's also tattoos and right. all kinds of things. You can look for all kinds of patterns and images. The tattoo thing is interesting. Why do I care about tattoos? Well, because you can, I mean, they are, there are kind of signatures in tattoos. The tattoos can signify certain things, perhaps yeah. a gang membership. But remember, all of this is tied into a big question. We have a Fourth Amendment in this country against unreasonable searches and seizures. Right. And we have that at the same time, we have this technology where we can gather massive amounts of new information and look for very specific things in it. So there is going to be huge tension over this, as there is on tattoos. Is a tattoo a form of expression that should be exempt from all of this? Or is it a signal that can be used to keep the public safe? That's a really interesting and complicated debate that we're heading right into. Yeah, that is a really interesting question. Well, what about drones? We keep hearing more and more about this. Is there this increasing concern yeah. about the number of eyes in the sky? Yeah, so drones are going to be great for police departments. They're starting to roll them out, right? You can imagine tracking suspects. You can imagine them helping in search and rescue in hostage situations. You can also imagine flying a whole bunch of them above a crowd yeah. and either looking for a specific person or just looking at everybody and seeing who's there. That could be great. It could help keep us safe. It could identify terrorists. It could prevent bad things from happening. Or it could be Orwellian and, you know, unreasonable government searches. To what degree is, is, this, uh, is all this new technology being used to try to anticipate or predict criminal behavior? Yeah, so that's the, that's the next level. We're starting to see that, where police officers have software, or police departments have software that will tell them, oh, based on historical patterns or based on the property crimes we've seen recently, there might be another robbery on this block. Why don't you go drive around it? Yeah. Or we've taken all of these factors on different people, we've scored them all, and we've said, this guy is possibly going to commit a crime. Why don't you go see where he is right now? Mm -hmm. That is being deployed right now in all kinds of the police departments, including, controversially, Los Angeles. And we're seeing, A, police departments say, this is great. Helps us anticipate crimes, keep the neighborhood safe. And you're seeing people say, wait, it's just another high-tech form of profiling and, again, a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights. Yeah, and these privacy concerns are something that we continue to hear about. Are we, Nick, at this inflection point where you've got these technologies that are advancing at this record pace and then people wondering, where is all this leading and where do my privacy rights actually kick in? I think we're driving right through that inflection yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Nick, Nick Thompson, thanks so much. All kinds of scary questions being posed here this morning. Nick Thompson, thanks for being with us. Thank you.